Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. Topic for today's video is how to send an Excel file as an attachment using Power Automate. So I am assuming you must have used Power Automate to send an email. But how you can send Excel as an attachment file or, or any other kind of file format as an attachment that I will try to cover in today's video. So let's get started. I will switch to my Power Automate now. So here uh, I have created the basic structure of my Power Automate flow with a trigger. It's a manual trigger. And now let's see how we will send an email. So I'll choose send email option from the Outlook. And I will choose the latest one, send an email V2. Over here, I will add the parameters, all the required parameters for the email. I will say subject excel file as attachment okay same i will put in the body also now let's come to the main part the attachment part now in the attachment there are two sections attachment name one and attachment content so in the attachment name we will we can hard code it as well or if you want uh, the actual file name which is present in the cloud for example in our case i have put this excel file as data in my sharepoint document library so from here i want to fetch it and send it over an email in the form of attachment and so that also a uh, hard code also i can do or i have to read the file name directly from the sharepoint so for these two things what i will do i will use the sharepoint action and the trigger related to the file so i will type over here sharepoint and for the action just see all the actions available related to the SharePoint. For example, create file. Let's search over here. Let's see. Yes. Yeah. So get files. It is for multiple files. Create file, update file, delete file, move file. So get file properties. So I have a single file. So I will select this get file properties. This will give me the file name because I am directly reading the file name. I do not want to hard code it. So it is present in my POC site, library name as I said, it is document library but over here I have to pass the ID. So in case you are pretty sure about the ID, you can hard code the ID over here. And in case you do not want to use ID or from somewhere you are getting the ID dynamically from Power App, then it is good. Well, good, you can use it. But in case you are not sure about the ID, for example, this file is present. I can get the ID from here. But if someone is deleting this item and loading it again, then this will get breakdown. In that case, I would say go to with the another action which is there, get files properties. I'll show you what is the difference. So I will say get files properties. Okay. Now over here, you could see it will read all the files irrespective of the ID. So that's where I will prefer. Uh, this section but if it is very specific to the id you can use the other one get file and library name as i said documents and now in the documents folder there are many folders many files i do not want it to send all of them so i will be selecting this particular folder limit entries to folder in my case share documents sample data okay there is nothing present so i have to go back I will say share documents. And sample data. So this is done. Now uh, this will restrict uh, the search or fetching to this particular folder sample data in which my file is present, which is test data. So now I will get the file and if I go to the send an email option attachment name. So let me just go down after this environment variable i will get all the properties related to the file id title everything tags extracted text description but over here i will want to see the file name so there should be one property called file name with extension so i will use it get the file content what i will do again i will go to the action and it will be related to sharepoint and from there I will select file content. Now get file content using path and get file content. These are two. If you will 
see the information get file content using the file path nothing much just what the name suggests and get the file content using the file identifier the content can be copied copied somewhere else or be used as an attachment so in my case what i understood i already have the path so i wanted to use this i can use this as well but if you already have the path defined just go ahead with this straight away now i'll select the poc site and i will select the file path now when i say the file path share documents and inside the sample data and here i have to select the file this file i wanted to send as an attachment so i have to select the file specifically now apply to each i will come over here and i will come to attachment content i will say file content and this will give me the file so this is how uh, i can send the excel file as an attachment so let me run this save test manually save and test run flow and i think i got an email send excel as an attachment test data if i'll open it from here preview data is present so this is how you can send an excel file our flow ran successfully so what i have done i have simply used this section called get file content using path this gave me the uh, file content i put it in the attachment just for the namesake i have used this get file properties only just to get the file name otherwise i could have hard coded it over here also so this is the way you can send an excel file as an attachment if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till our next video much love keep learning thank you